We say aloha to the manager of Hawaiian Booty Sweat, Nick Machado. And Nick, first thing we got to ask you, more than 5,000 miles away on the road to Horsham, Pennsylvania, what kind of a challenge is that going that far away from home? Well, I'll tell you, this is a little bit of a challenge. It was nice to get that home playoff game last week, have an Article 22 come all the way out to visit us, which, by the way, I'd like to congratulate congratulate them on a good season, and it was a very tough challenge. I was a little nervous playing them at first because he beat me, but this week coming up, this is going to be a bit of a challenge. I give Brian all the credit in the world. He's done a wonderful job with his team, but I think we can take him. Two best records in the regular season he was not shy in his interview on HHFFL Live, guaranteeing a victory. What is your response to that? It's a pretty bold move. It's a pretty bold move. He's got a lot of guts guaranteeing a victory like that. I admire that. However, I do think he's wrong. Because if you see over the course of history since I've joined the HHFFL, I've turned a winless team into a playoff team last year. I beat him twice last year in the regular season. I beat him twice last year in the consolation round. I beat him the first time we played this year, and if it weren't for Antonio Gates being hurt in our second matchup, I'd be the number one seed, winning the money medal. You, using he, he, he's these, earned his due. he's earned his due. I'll give him that. But I, I really do believe that this right here, I'll make a bold statement myself. This in itself is the HHFFL Dave Sanderson Championship, because whoever wins this game will win the Dave Sanderson Trophy. Wow. Wow, two powerful teams. I will give you that. Two of the best records, two, the two best records in the league going into this. So maybe looking at this in a way like the AFC title game in real football, but let's take a look at your team a little bit. Your two keepers, Peyton Manning and Steven Jackson, everybody knows about them, but from your perspective, who on your team has been the most valuable player this year? Man, it's been it's been a lot of valuable players. I've made a lot of couple bold moves this year, picking people up. I would have said Antonio Gates if he could have said healthy, because that was a very bold move and a big move in the beginning of the year to get Antonio Gates. But he's had a little bit of an injury right now, and it's been a tight end by committee on my team. I had Brandy McMichael, Anthony Fasano, Greg Olson, and now both Gates playing for me. So I'd have to still say Peyton Manning is my MVP. Like where he goes, I've bought. When he was doing really well in the beginning of the year, I started off 6-0. and And he had that little rough patch at the end of the regular season that cost me the money medal. So I'd still have to say Peyton Manning. I go where he goes. Fair enough. The best quarterback in the NFL, one of the best in the HHFFL. When you look at full-time specialist or the whatever UPS name you want to call Brian Osborne's team, what stands out to you about his team, and, and where do you think you may be able to take advantage? And he's got a, he's got a, like I said, we've got the two best records for a reason because I believe these are the two best rosters we've got. He's got Philip Rivers, who performed very well on Thursday and got him off to a great start, along with the San Diego defense. And just the matchups he's got this week with Darren McFadden going against the Denver Broncos, who he put a 44 burger up against couple weeks back and you got Peyton Hillis against Cincinnati the odds look very very good in his favor but I still believe that we've got good matchups and I think that my players will be able to do well against it is particularly the two Jacksonville players the eyes on the, this for tomorrow's game will be on the Indy Jacksonville game as he's got uh, Reggie Wayne going with Mike Thomas and Mercedes Lewis going against my Peyton Manning so That'll be the game that decides it, I think. Yeah, I wanted to ask you about that in your mind. A lot of different strategies when, you, when you're talking about fantasy football. And you're starting this week behind the eight ball with a 30-plus point lead for Brian. Now you have your full complement of starters. But what, what does that do to you as a manager mentally when the team you're playing hops out early on Thursday night? Man, it's, it's made me have to make a couple tough decisions this year and this week. You know, I had a, had a tough couple decisions as to who has to start and everything. As LT's really carried the ball the first half of the year for me, and he's fallen off. But he's got a tough matchup this week against the Pittsburgh Steelers defense, who I have, and I don't want to find myself going back and forth. So I had to put him on the bench for Tim Hightower because Hightower had a monster game last week, and he's playing a Carolina defense that gave up nine rushing touchdowns the last three weeks. 
but that wasn't the stuff of the decision I think I'm having to deal with right now as to whether or not to put my man who I traded for a third round pick at the deadline, Brandon Lloyd, on the bench for Deion Branch. Very, very intriguing situations to say the least. We will find out 1 o'clock Eastern time tomorrow what you go with. But last question for you, Nick. You're you're a Warminster guy. You're an East Coast guy. You're a Warminster, Pennsylvania native. You you reside in Hawaii at the moment. But what kind of a challenge is this cold weather Ambler Division atmosphere for your team? It's, it's certainly a change. We'll say that for def- definitely for sure. But I think with my experience living here and having moved with my franchise from Niagara Falls last year, will I be able to help lead the guys and get my guys ready? for the challenge that they face tomorrow. It's a tough team. Brian made a bold statement saying that he was going to beat me, and he guaranteed it. I think I'm good. He's good. I'd like to counteract that statement and say that I'm going to guarantee that I win tomorrow as well. He thinks he's going to win. I'm going to win. We got the two best teams. May the best team win. Wow. Well, only one will come out as Nostra Fantasy Football Domus. Let's not forget... It doesn't get any colder than the Canadian border up by Niagara. And, Nick, we thank you very much. We say a low... Yes? I've got one more thing to say. All right. I think that Dave Sanders and Sherford would enjoy spending the next year on Waikiki Beach. That's the last thing I want to say. It would be very picturesque. You would have to post some pictures up there. We'll see. But you got one game this week. In your eyes, this is the only milestone and challenge left before that trophy. We will see how it plays out, but we wish you the best of luck, and we thank you for joining us here on HHFFL Live. All right, thank you for your time. The manager of Hawaiian Booty Sweat, Nick Mishano, the big matchup this weekend against full-time specialists.